What is up, guys? Welcome back to Shadows of RC. Here I am walking out into the garage like I start half of my videos. Today, I wanted to show you guys kind of what we bring to the oval races we go to. Um, however, while I load them in the truck, because we actually are racing tonight, it is Thursday night, we are going to debut this new body for my dad's 12T. It looks great. He got a new one for the 13.5, too. Which is pretty killer looking. Wise guy racing. Which is a. Uh, he's a grass drag snowmobile team. So. Um, we kind of used his design. I'm going to be running my 12th team. My 13.5 body. But I'm going to bring their body. And the 13.5. Actually. I'm, I don't even know. I'm probably not going to bring that tonight. Because. I'll probably race it one of these weeks, but not this week, because I'm still trying to figure out my 12T. But I'm going to kind of quickly show you guys all this and load as I load into the truck, but not right now, because I have to wait, because I think UPS is delivering our new table today. Because we had a four-footer, but we're getting a six-footer, and... Yeah, yeah, it hasn't came yet because none of, usually we wanted to buy it in stores, but unfortunately, nobody had it, so, yeah. While I'm waiting for that to come, I'm gonna have some breakfast here, and moving these cars over, that way I can have room for mine, and I'm gonna just clean the tires on my car, um, do a few things with the bearings, clean them some brake clean and some oil won't hurt them and yeah that should be about it thing up here. i'm gonna go live on instagram around 10 o'clock eastern oh, yolo so yeah i'm gonna just clean my tires off today clean my bearings before racing make sure they are pretty smooth and yeah, still love this body. It's absolutely beautiful. I just wish it didn't look red on camera like it does, because you kind of get like white. There we go. You guys can see it's orange. <laughs> it's it looks reddish or like a reddish orange on camera, but it's actually super bright orange. Like it's hard to even convey. Like it's kind of like that. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna take the body off and get going on. He is, he's got our table. I just rushed that because I'm not trying to get my third copyright strike. <laughs> I don't know where the. There, there, there you go. Hi, uh, I actually just got this knife. I really like it. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. There she is. I'm gonna pull this out real quick. I was gonna say, if I didn't realize the music was on in the last clip. I really do appreciate the UPS guys. That same goes for FedEx, and my dad works for one of them. <laughs> Not UPS. <laughs> he works for FedEx, and I just really appreciate everything they do. I pull this out one handed because it's got plastic on it. But yeah, I'm gonna pull this out. But I really appreciate everything they do through the weather, dogs people <laughs> alrighty oh, yeah. right. trusty truck here ram 1500 that up. i'm gonna usually i wait until around 2 p.m to load but we might be helping my grandma deal on a new suv so Cover this sticker. I don't want to give away my location. But does that look familiar? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to set this up and pull this table out and replace it with the other one. We also bring this. It's a 4x6 can of stated canopy and new table. We're also taking this green box. Hopefully, it don't fall off the edge of the damn truck here. There we go. This is our light. We hang this from the canopy because usually it gets dark but we're gonna go to the part you guys actually probably want to see besides the cars is we'll start with my stuff because I, I always load my stuff i'm gonna 
close my knife real quick. Um, I'm just gonna set you up for a good angle. This is gonna be a terrible angle. <laughs> All right, so first things first, I always load my car stuff first. There we go. Um, got my TQ here. Just because we're having problems with the fly sky binding to the wrong channel. So, yeah, that's annoying, but whatever. All right, so. But, this is just a husky trunk. Little, uh, bark that flew off, hit me in the head. <laughs> and that in there. Along with my remote. And I think that's all I need. Battery two. Yeah, we bought stackables because it's easier than having a bunch of boxes and a good thing I checked because they're wow that's that's really low isn't it <laughs> yeah, it's all, well. <laughs> all right that's gonna rub a little bit um hopefully not but <laughs> we'll see all right so, oh my god I never put this body on this car so I kind of make sure we're gonna have to raise the body mounts I'm thinking but Yes, I can. Uh, I'll have to raise those at some point, but yeah, we got my box here. Holds all my stuff. Got a battery in my car. Gotta get my other one. We're on site with that. Like. Alrighty. Second battery I put in here and raise the body up. Car is driving by, sorry. So we're gonna load this up and we're gonna load my dad's stuff up. He's got his tools, oil, batteries, spacers, just a bunch of parts over there, extra parts. Down there, he has his remotes, his chargers, and I gotta put his um, car stands there. So I actually have to move both the cars. He's gonna be racing his 36 car today. And he might race his 17, the um, 13.5 big block. But we've been having a problem where it's been turning off at like four, four and a half minutes and it won't do anything. We don't know if it's motor or the ESC right yet. We're thinking, we thought it was the motor, but now we're thinking it's the ESC. So yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out. I offered to bring my car so then he could just set it up and race that, but he wasn't, he, he said he's gonna test it before to see and if it doesn't work. Then he's just going to do his 12T, which is the 36, but I got to bring his other body to he requested. That way he can race it during practice. So just put the car stand. It's got high tech. I'm not sure which that one is, but it's a single charger. They've got the X2. He's got our case there for motors and stuff. Extra motors because we got a few extra um, 12Ts. They're not the best, but they still work. We got a Reedy 13.5. I'm not sure what he did with that. He did lay it over here. <laughs> but he must have took it. So, yeah. And then over here we have like soldering iron, the batteries, some Prius we're getting rid of or we're selling to them, to some people. And down there is like rags, um, tires, shock oils, and all the essential stuff. But overall, the cars are looking. Pretty good. I mean, unpopular opinion. I'm not sure if people agree. Maybe they do. I didn't put Paul or anything. But I think the blue looks good with the orange. Not gonna lie. But yeah, first I load my stuff usually. So let's do that. Real quick. It's hard getting that gap and holding this, trying to squeeze through there without hitting the truck. So yeah. I also got the 41J sticker right there too. But usually I put my boxer like right there. So. Let's just grab it, slide it, if it's under in case we have to close tunnel cover due to rain or something, so yeah, that's that, and we're going to use my dad's bigger one, which is that one, and then we'll put that little one on, I also need to find the lead cord, again, <laughs> oh, it's in that belt crate it looks like, so. All right, let's see here. And air compressor. <laughs> I'm gonna just grab that crate and throw I'll it. I'll tell you what, that one's not too heavy, but this one, it's a lot heavier than you think, so. 
Next, I'm just going to grab our bodies. Um, this one, my dad's just going to run for warm-ups, and I'm bringing my actual 12T body in case. <laughs> it's kind of a demolition derby because some weeks we it can. just nicely. And uh, next, we're going to do the air compressor. It's not too heavy. It is with air in it, but not much heavier because air clearly isn't heavy. <laughs> or I hope air isn't heavy. Oh, I'm not even getting you guys a good view with the help. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm short, sorry. <laughs> Alright. So next we're just gonna close that. And just kinda slide that like so. Then we're gonna take this one. And also slide that in like so. I'm gonna leave the air compressor there and I'm gonna start bringing the carts over. Usually we have five, yeah, us four, one, two, three, four, and then Nate's, but Nate's on vacation and I'm not taking my 13.5 this week, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take my dad's 12T first. I'll just cut the clip to where I have everything in there. That way I can use two hands, make this go faster. I will upload this video tonight, so yeah, maybe not tonight, but this afternoon before I go. What do you guys like the best? The white and orange, fluorescent orange. It looks red, but it's fluorescent orange. It's so bright and loud. I love it. Do you like 41J, the 17, or the 36? Leave your comments down below. I mean, I'm biased, but not really, just because I love the colors. Like, even if this body was on one of my dad's cars, I'd still choose it, so. Because just the colors, the white and the orange. 100%. Climb right up here. We're going to take the 36 here. It's hard to grab my dad's cars because they don't have Nerf cars. <laughs> We're kind of just going to slide them all in there. And then... That pavilion thing keeps it from rolling, so I'm gonna next put my car at the end here. Yeah. It'll probably roll a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab the air compressor and do it like that. So, yeah, that is our race day kind of setup. Like I said, we'll usually put Nate's car like here somewhere in the modern one, like here, and yeah, sweating. <laughs> stuff's heavy and it's pretty humid out surprisingly it's only supposed to be 80 today but still super humid that's going to cool down a lot tonight so yeah but thank you all for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed thank you for the un like stopping support it is crazy i am about to hit 200 not really about but road to 200 subs i'm at 156 and i've been gaining so much and all I've really been doing is just commenting on other posts more lately and, or lately, and trying to get on, like, people who just upload videos and answer their questions, help them out, like Traxxas, RC Sparks, all of them. So, thank you all for the, um, or for the relentless support. I appreciate it. You guys are great. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a small creator like me keep going. And I love doing what I do, whether I have a big number of subs or not. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great day or great life or whatever. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.